Hi, everybody. My name is Marcus Patterson. My name is Christian Ramos. Abel Peraza. Kyla Buffington. Bethlehem Asafa. Amy Huri. Sydney Scadden. And Lisa Rhodes. Oh. And we are Signal of Expression. So we originally chose our challenge for one reason, unity. So many, so many people in our community were artistic and charismatic individuals, yet many to none were getting the creative release they needed and deserved. So by providing these people with a venue in order for them to express themselves, even for only a moment, was what we strive to provide. It took us almost two weeks to choose on a challenge. And when we thought we did, we took a second look. Dancers and singers, poets and painters, there were so many artistic and charismatic people who were willing and able to show themselves out to their community. So we took the brush by the bristles and decided on Laura Zambel's art challenge. And this gave way to the beautiful movement we call Signal of Expression's Tour of the Arts, an all-around arts community, an all-around arts tour that tours around our community from venue to venue, giving this artistic talent an exceptional way to shine. The process of conquering this challenge be which began the tour of arts began with going to community meetings and handing out contact information to inform the community about our vision. Then we contacted schools around the Green Valley Ranch in Montbello community um, to sorry, to gather a variety of artwork around to display at our event. After contacting local schools, we began to look further into showcasing arts and talents of the community and inform local residents of neighboring resources through an interactive and entertaining manner. As we organized the event, we sought out underutilized venues that were both cost-effective and enclosed spacious areas that would be appropriate for our event. Considering these factors, we found that the Green Valley Ranch Rec Center would be most appropriate. With time closing in on us, we began to take action and let out word about the event through social networks and displaying reminders all throughout schools, public centers, and churches. To fully carry out our process, we sought aid through several partnerships. In the event to make our uh, events a reality, we reached out to various uh, community organizations to help us with our project. Little Teeth Dentistry and Walmart gave us donations in order to fund our event. We used the donations to buy our Signal of Expression t-shirts, food for our event, and uh, art supplies for our various workshops. We also invited many, um, many nonprofits in order to, in order, we also, <laughs> nonprofits as, in order to, okay, <laughs> we also, uh, for nonprofits, we also, they also helped us make sure that their organization is heard through our community. Some organizations, but not limited to, that we've invited to our event are Denver Parks and Rec, com um, Creative Strategies for Change, Steps to Success, the Denver Urban New Lights Center, and also our fellow competitors, the Warriors of Hope, leading to our great succession of our event. The, um, the Crusader of the Arts, the First Lady of Denver, has asked us to host a showcase and also open a new Montbello, I mean, amphitheater at the Montbello Rec Center in June. Steps to Success has also reached out to us to collaborate in a national program to develop a documentary about issues facing our community. The outcome of our event had a strong response to it. With 200 people in attendance, which doubled our original goal of 100 people, we surveyed 133 young teens and adults with questions about their experience. We found out that 87% of the people met new people. And 94% had a great exposure to the arts. We also found out that 48% were from the Green Valley Ranch area, and 33% were from Montbello. Com many community residents gave their comments about our event and said, this is what a community event should look like. With that being said, Signal of Expression has established its voice in the Montbello and Green Valley Ranch community, but we know our signal can get much stronger. And at this, at this event, we had plenty of different types of outcomes as they have discussed. We have had smiles and happiness and a unifying of the two communities, and that's our overall plan. It's for us to use this untapped talent and to actually put it into action and give it a thought. It's, actually, it's for us to actually just... Thank thrive. you very much for your presentation. <clears throat> yes. Uh, DC21, you're on deck, making your way back. Good. Uh, judges, you have three minutes. Your questions. Uh, 
Um, and thank you for your presentation. Um, and it sounds like you got a lot of people involved in it. So how does how does it? What's the next steps? How does this um, challenge or this art expression um, uh, continue to maintain over the years? Um, well, of course, we're doing a student-led organization at our school. We had 20 volunteers um, volunteer at the event, and they're going to be continuing on the organization when all of us leave. Um, we are also, as Kyla said, we're going to be working with the First Lady of Denver and her program to um, do an event on June 14th at the Montbello Rec Center celebrating the opening of their amphitheater. Um, we have plenty of sustainability as well as the portable art piece that you guys should have saw us pull in. Um, it was a lot of, there's just a lot of things that we were going to be doing. Thank <laughs> you.